Hello everyone, this is AJ and welcome back. Welcome back to another set episode of my comic book corner. Um, yeah, another little comic book haul. Um, now, if you've been watching regularly, you know I go to the comic shop sort of once a month. But I think this is the third week on the trot that I've actually been. Because um, I picked up a few other bits. I was in Croydon, so I thought well, I'll go to my comic shop. I'll just pick up what they've got for me. Which isn't going to be a lot, um, because I was in there last week. Now, some of this stuff you may know if you do collect comics would have come out few weeks ago because I pre-order stuff and and what you do is when you pre-order in the comic shop um, if you if you order a batch of five comics if they're not out on the same week then you'll get them when the latest one is out because it's a batch um, and it, it's yeah it's like an order batch do you know what I mean um, I know that don't work for some people but it's fine for me especially over the Covid because Covid everything shut down and my comics were building up and they would ship them out to me in a big box like this. Um, so I got used to not having them on the day of release. And I'm not really, I don't really do that anymore. That's what I used to do when I was younger, day of release sort of thing, rush to the comic shop. But I might start going once a week or every two weeks instead of monthly. But yes, yeah, so this is the third week on the spin. So it was last week that I went, I think it was um, Friday. I think it might have been Friday I went, but let's have a look at what I got. Okay, so first up is issue five and the final issue of the army of darkness 1979 yes based on the film um ash williams fighting the evil dead yeah so that's good um i do like an army of darkness comic they um they're always fun they're always a fun read um yeah so that's very good they're published by dynamite comics and there's loads of them now um yeah so superb stuff Next up was issue three of a ten-part series of Batman called The Night. Um, yeah. It's, you know... Um, I, I, I prefer sort of limited series stuff now than ongoing comics. Because um, it's a self-contained story primarily. And, and I find them easier now than keeping up with... With like a consistently ongoing series. Um, next up was issue 35 of The Walking Dead Deluxe. Um, these are Walking Dead reprints. I do have all the original Walking Dead comics. Um, but they were a black and white comic. And Walking Dead Deluxe is... Um, it colourises them. They've gone in and colourised them all. So it's like reading them all over again in colour. So I will end up with two series of Walking Dead comics. Eventually when, when I get through all these. Um, yeah. Um, then we have issue one of Carnage. I mean, Christ, I can't believe that it's been 30 years for this character. In my mind, this is a relatively new character, yeah? Um, but 30 years. I mean, I remember when Carnage first came out. I've got the first appearance of Carnage, the very first comic that he ever appeared in. And I wouldn't have put it at 30 years, but... Just shows how long I've been collecting, how old I am. Um, I remember he appeared, I can't remember the issues, but there was a three-part comic series that Carnage first came about in. Um, Cletus Cassidy himself, the, the, the character who becomes Carnage, um, he had a sort of one-page appearance in the issue before, which is his sort of cameo appearance, so to speak, but not in the Carnage form, just as Cletus Cassidy. And then they went into this free free story issue arc uh, of Carnage and um, Venom had to team up with Spider-Man um, or Spider-Man team up with Venom what way around you want to look at it to defeat Carnage but yeah so issue one of the new Carnage series um, you know what can I say it's um, yeah Carnage I'm seeing if I can find some decent art panels Uh, Carnage in comic. That's that. Then we had um, uh, issue eight of the Invincible Red Sonia with a cosplay photo cover. 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 Um, cosplay photo cover, which is like, yeah, you know, they, they do loads of these. And um, I don't know, you know, there's some nice art ones as well. Um, although the art in this is somewhat questionable, to be honest with you. 
Um, what you generally find is that when a comic first starts, you get a really fantastic artist on them. And then as a comic continues, the art style kind of drops off. I mean, that image there is just completely physically impossible. It just looks unreal, but there you go. Yeah, so what else did I get? I got another, even though I already had this, I did get another issue one of The Punisher. Um, so I got a couple of them um, just because I'm a big Punisher fan. And I think what I've probably done is I've pre-ordered it, but then I bought it in store as well. So there was that. And also I bought a, a this one was offline and it was um, Punisher issue two, but it was a legacy number in its issue 230, as you can see there. It was four quid. It was a, um, a, a variant cover that I just never had at the time. Um, sometimes they do go crazy with the variant covers. They do loads. And again, I don't get them all, even though I'm a big Punisher fan. I don't get all of the um, variant covers that they do because some of them are quite expensive and I don't want to really spend that much money you know on stuff anymore but yeah so Punisher World War Frank part three part two sorry so yeah basically I just got it for the cover because I have the issue anyway it'll just go in my Punisher box um, yeah See if I can find again. Punisher and Iron Fist right there. And part three of that would be Punisher and Daredevil. So yeah, so a nice sort of Punisher variant cover for the collection. Nice. And then I did get another issue two of She-Hulk like this again because I'd bought it um, online and then I picked one up in store but this has gone to a second printing so I'm guessing the first printing has pretty much sold out of this cover um, yeah even though you probably still get it cheap but yeah so good stuff very happy um, like the old comics I want to get proper back into them but yeah so anyway so that was it this is AJ I don't know if I'll be going this week probably next week now so two weeks um, feasibly but we'll see anyway thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one take care all and goodbye